What's up guys? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Welcome back to our vlog. Today is uh, Tuesday, December 7, and don't mind us. And if we have any type of noise changes in our voices, um, the weather is yeah. cold. Season got us here in Cali. Yes. You get so used to like 75, 80 t shirt. Don't mind me if I look down on my phone, I'm about to be placed in a raid. So, anyway. You're used to 75 and 80 degree weather, right? Year round almost. And then when like November, December hits, mm -hmm. like that chill weather comes so fast and it's like, it's chilly, you know? I feel like it's that's cold. the weather that Not gets, even chilly, yeah. it's cold. I feel like that's the weather that gets people sick. It's the one that's unexpected and it's like 50, 55, yeah. and you're just in a t shirt. And then you're like, you know, your body, and you think you can handle it, and you're like out there. But it's like your body's used to that warmer weather, so then that chill can hate you. So for us, as you can tell, we've been hit. <laughs> Let me see. Are you about to go play your Pokemon? I'm about to raid, but I'm just going to tap. We'll be back. Let's see if you got a shiny. I was in a raid. Maybe wasn't trying to wait. I've been waiting on this raid for like, and I was I a hardest I've been waiting hitter. for him for like the last hour. I know, but I've, I joined this raid, you know what I mean? Like, before we left for the gym. So I'm in here. This new Pokemon's out. I'm about to get that shiny, boy. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't get that shiny, y'all. That's what I got. Grudigan. The shiny's lime green and yellow. Man, I would have been so dope. Anyway. Not bad. Just in case y'all are curious, and if y'all are any uh, players out there. You can share your QR code while you're at it. Oh, y'all want the key? Oh, someone else was inviting me. What's up, guys? Where you been? Okay. Well, we're back to more serious stuff. <laughs> Gosh. Um, so I wanted to do this video uh, that is pretty much a topic of a relationship and the pros and cons during a bikini prep and then post bikini, uh, you know, competition. Um, I am over a little bit over two weeks post uh, competition, so uh, I wanted to do this video because I feel like I've realized a lot more of the relationship, like. I want to say stressors in a way mm -hmm. post competition but I want to talk to you first about during our, during my competition because I was in not during my during my prep because I was on around a 27 28 week prep and for a significant other to kind of go through it with you is a lot um, in the beginning of my prep I was doing you know training five times a week I was doing cardio six times a week. Eventually, it turned to five times of training a week to seven days of cardio twice a day. And my calories were getting very low. And just, you know, my uh, my patience was getting very low. And just, I, w I was feeling very drained. So um, I guess I'll get more into it. Do you want to uh, anything from the beginning of my prep and how you felt? Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely... Is a journey. I mean, that's that word is very accurate. I feel because it'll have its ups and downs, and uh, it definitely takes you know strong relationship to be able to manage all of that. Just because there will be roller coaster city, you know what I mean. There'll be days where you know it's up cruising, and there'll be days where it's just whew, plummet. But it's like you just gotta be flexible and know what you're getting into before you know what I mean. Just be prepared for that and those things, and then. Um, yeah, as long as both parties are aware in the relationship that it can be great and it could also suck. But um, yeah, for me, I've definitely, I experienced and observed a process and I observed her go through her different emotions and ups and downs and uh, her patience going from here and there. But uh, yeah. Okay, so as far as, a as our schedule during a prep, um, when you're prepping, life does not you know stop for everything else there's a whole routine and schedule that you still have to do whether you're in work whether you're a student school um anything like that and so i feel like with him being in with him doing work like throughout the week and then me kind of like doing school and then doing the prep like almost every day and then still having to enjoy the weekend with our friends and everything for me i didn't really mind as much going out to restaurants or like, because I would always bring my food, but then at some, sometimes, you know, it, it does get frustrating. It does get 
annoying just being out and like you're smelling all this delicious food and my babe here like even though you know he he does encourage me to stick to everything some days he would be like babe you know try just a little piece of this like it's not gonna hurt you and um during that time you are vulnerable and you don't want to cheat on your diet because then you're gonna have to tell your coach and kind of explain yourself and so a lot of times i'm like no 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 and um it was, it was kind of difficult, especially like us being some foodie people. And then mm -hmm. as far as our relationship with me being just very exhausted, um, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it, but you do lose your sex drive. And so I completely, Rats ass. <laughs> I completely lost mine. And I mean, even though I'm two weeks post competition, I'm still, you know, I'm doing what I can to kind of gain it back up to make my hormones, you know. But she did she did out. her best though. She tried, you know. Yeah. Even though the drive wasn't there, she still of course was considerate, tried to just, you know, be considerate and just please her partner, which is me, her love and yeah. Yeah, I mean I would I would let him know like if let me know if you need anything because I if I don't want it, like I'm not going to think about it. If like all I thought about was food. I wanted to know what I was going to eat next and I was constantly looking at the clock. <laughs> I want some food. That's yeah. all I was thinking about. So, um, yeah, no, definitely the communication for that aspect of it. You have to communicate. Otherwise, if you don't tell your partner anything, then you're not going to know. You're going to think everything's fine, even though they're frustrated. Yeah, so that's why if you're on my side of the field or my my side of the, uh, the perspective of, you know, the competition prep, if you're male or female, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, just... Be open and try to, you know, try your best to communicate. Commu to me, communication is just always top thing. You've gotta be able to talk. Somebody has an issue, they have to be able to put it on the table. We have to be able to pick it apart or whatever it might be and come to a, you know, compromise. We have to figure it out because we want each other to be happy. In order to do that, if someone's feeling a type of way about something, then we've gotta put it out there and get to the bottom of it. it doesn't always have to be an argument for sure. It's just, Talk, let's talk. So it might escalate to an argument, but hey, at the end of the day, bring it back down, talk it out, and then, you know, come to an agreement because it's just, it, it can get tough. And also in my shoes, just be prepared to be more flexible. You got to flex. Not flex like, you know, I'm strong. No, flex like bend and give a little more than you might be accustomed to outside of a competition prep. What I mean by that is like, you know, she's, emotions are, you know, <laughs> so just like, Always keep that in the back of your mind and some certain things she might say or whatever just take it for what it might be Don't take it to heart. You know, you got to understand like all right She might be over emotional clearly because she's the food the diet the this the that Everything so that's just something that you have to just keep in your head And I mean don't get me wrong You're gonna they're gonna you're gonna reach your breaking point too because someone can only flex and bend so much that Sometimes they're just like ah, ah Super Saiyan level 5 or something but I mean, I mean, it's just it's just navigating all those things. But what I wanted to say and bring up too was she also started her prep like, what was it, 2021, right? Of the earlier this year. Earlier this year, yeah. Which, if you think about it, like, what were we doing in 2020? Like, nothing. It was pandemic, right? Yeah. So if she started her prep 2021 early in the year, what did that mean? 2021 was like, oh shoot, we can do shit again. Shit's open. So that made it more difficult too because people were doing that. Our friends hitting us up. Yeah, let's go do this, that. And it was kind of like, you know, I don't know why I just drove my mustache like that. <laughs> I've never done that before. But anyway, <laughs> that that was it, you know. 2021, around like what, February, March time frame? It, April. Well, April. Oh, yeah. April, May. April. So we were dealing, you know. Figuring that out as well. But I mean, I was all for it. Super supportive. I was like, you know what? That's what you want to do. Let's do it. Do you, babe? Like, I'm here. I'm ready to rock and roll. Yeah. I almost was going to do it the same time as her, which who knows how that would have went. But yeah, yeah. I mean, that was, I just wanted to make sure I say those few little things as far as like 2021 and opening back up and then being able to flex and bend because yeah, you're just, you're just going to have to be able to communicate. Yeah. I mean, during... During my entire prep, he was very supportive. Like, even though, you know, some days, some days it would get hard. Some days I would be, like, very fussy and all this stuff. Like, he would still support me and was like, come on, babe, let's do it. You got it. So that, the aspect of the supporting part 
really helped me out because if I didn't have that support, I feel like I wouldn't really have entirely gone through the whole prep. Um, mm. So I went to the competition. Well, actually, let's back it up a little bit because I did switch teams about, you know, five, six weeks out from my competition. And the team that I switched with is, you know, it's macro um, oriented to your macros. And so I started to have a little bit of flexibility with the food and what I ate. And I, it gave me um, a much better, like, attitude. Like, I was very positive. I was looking forward to, like, um, just doing things again, you know. So then one time I was like, babe, why aren't we going on dates? <laughs> and he was like, well, I, I don't know, I guess. Because before of how I was acting compared to how I was acting like during right. this So team period. one compared to team two, like yeah. team one that she was on for the majority of her prep up until what, six weeks out, you know, that was more strict. It was not if it fits your macros, you know what I mean? It was, you know what I mean? It was that. Yeah. So imagine that for that long from May until what, October? I, I mean, that's... A mental toll and roller coaster that you're just gonna be. Of course, you, you gotta be that type of person to do that type of uh, competition prep. So, seeing how her aura was and her vibe through that May October time frame, like, yeah, it was tough. And I could just tell, like, you know, just very uh, uh, shadow over her meals or just uh, whatever. But then when she switched to team two, that was like, whoo, like. I really noticed a shift where I could tell. I was like, whoa, she's happy. I could sense happiness again, like it was a refresh. She was like on her phone, looking up recipes, Pinterest, Instagram, whatever. Anything that spit out recipes, she was on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause she was excited. Like I can mold things and be where I need to be, you know, macro wise, but then enjoy again. So then it was like, like she's saying, when are we gonna go out and this and that? Like, let's go on a date. And I'm just like, hold up, wait, what? And I was like, it makes sense. Cause she can, fit it into her macros. She could look at the menu, make it fit, and we could still enjoy. So that's another thing too. Like this is our first, you know, experience through this. So, you know, if you're going into it, yeah, if it's the, if it fits your macros or if it's the the other one, I guess be prepared for both because they each have their own, you know, things that come along with them. Yeah, pros and cons. Yeah. But uh so, okay, so <laughs> I wanted to talk about um Com or the competition and then after a competition because my competition it's because it's been two weeks um it's two three weeks two weeks now. i am so bad with t after the competition i feel like i kind of let him down because it wasn't like anything that i just wanted to eat now like every day go over like eating you know more food than i have because then <coughs> it comes into a battle of you know after a competition day we enjoyed an Italian spot, if you guys watched our show day vlog, you saw where we went. If you watched the Sunday <laughs> fun day, you saw where we went that day, and then our Thanksgiving. So I was so I was enjoying a certain like a good amount of food. And so when it got to the point where I did start to see myself kind of adding on that fat and it started kind of messing with me mentally, and then with me telling him, like, alright, I need to stop. Like, I need to stop, I need to get back into my macros, and I even talked to my coach about, like, everything that was going on just to kind of get my head clear and back on track. And it is a little bit, you know, it is difficult just because, like, you have restricted yourself this whole time, and I do want to have him happy and make him happy and be able to go out and eat and then drink wine every night if I really wanted to. Yeah. But it's, yeah. like, it's, like, one of those things where it's also kind of, um, a battle with yourself because you don't want to let go of that of that physique that you just did even though I know it's not like in, it's not a man it's not sustainable but it is like something that I wanted to slowly gain weight like over time but I felt like over like two weeks I gained like four pounds of fat so which is not drastic but um mm -hmm. It's like that after the show where it's like a struggle with yourself and then at the same time trying to balance the trying to balance your relationship and yeah. it's like a pre-battle with the competition prep yeah. but then once you hit the competition day you know both parties need to be prepared that there's a post battle too meaning like what she's saying um yeah she wants to just hey let loose to the window to the like just eat anything you know what i mean yeah. in and out burgers Sushi, buffet, wine nights, charcuterie boards, day drinks. No, Don't you know. Don't make me hungry. 
But like, that's what some might expect that. Like, hey, she's done, competition's out the way. Like, let's go, let's go, we've been missing out. But it's not, it can't be like that because for health reasons and the reverse diet process needs to be managed in a way which, you know, our coach now is doing a great job in order to bring her back correctly where, you know what I mean? Like you said, sustainability of her diet and her body. But um, it's, yeah, I mean, she tried to just, of course, enjoy, but then psychologically and mentally, it's like she loved where she was at on competition day. And to see that slowly drift away based off of the foods and the regular daily lifestyle again, or somewhat, you know, and then it, it almost puts a negative on that. So she's saying she's balancing the enjoyment of us as a normal couple again, back post prep, post competition prep, along with losing that physique that she worked so hard for. You know what I mean? And it only makes sense. It's like, you know, you got in the best shape of your life and then now it's like, all right, well, give and take best shape, but like uh, off of a, pers like a view, you know, we're looking at the best physical shape, but not maybe not feeling the best. But regardless, she got there and then seeing that slowly go away along with enjoying the food, it almost makes her not want to enjoy the food anymore. And like she's saying, I, I want that. I want to be able to drink some wine at night with her and, you know, not have to have her worrying, but that comes in there too. It comes into play. There's going to be those nights. So it's just being able to balance and manage those feelings of how to enjoy, you know, when to enjoy, when to take a step back and kind of be like, all right, look, I'm not, I shouldn't be freaking out. Okay. Of course I can't stay with my competition body forever. And it's like, I got to just be mentally in control of knowing like, you know, I'm not slipping. I'm not just, you know, losing everything. It's just step by step, you know, day by day, <clears throat> enjoy, manage relationship, but then also manage your happiness with your body. So just keep them in line. Yeah. Same like, you know, with post competition, you run into di some digestion issues and then your hormones are everywhere. So uh, that's something else I, you know, I guess I didn't realize that I was going to expect after this competition, but I am, or I was, um, but other, other than that, I mean, do you have anything of how you feel post-competition? Uh, as far as post-competition, I feel just like, you know, I still got to be flexible. I still got to be considerate and understand like. It's not a rubber band, like she's just not gonna snap back, you know what I mean? Like, worked your way, depletion and physique, and then start to eat again. And may, and I can't expect her to just be popped back to normal, like emotionally, mentally, physically, like, it's gonna take time. So I gotta understand that there's gonna be those mood swings, you know, different foods that she hasn't been having for the past how long are being reintroduced. So expect, but then still communicate, you know what I mean? If I'm feeling a certain way, I've got to be able to voice that and be like, hey, I'm noticing this, like, are we good? And it, to me too, it's communicate positively. So communicate with the best foot forward. So don't communicate negatively where you're just like just calling someone out. I'm not saying that's wrong, because sometimes that's gonna happen, but just try to say what you gotta say so that she or whoever's in that process, you know, understands how you feel, because since you're just the supporter, um, both ways. You know, each other needs to talk. For me, of course, I'm, I've been in the same mental, of course, capacity or mental, you know, state so I can call things out because I'm not, I'm not having mood swings like she might be having. So it's like, I can, I can see them. So I need to be able to voice them and, you know, make sure she's okay. Cause I gotta take, I'm her supporter. So we gotta be able to identify those things, talk about them and make sure that, you know, they're being managed correctly to where it's not mentally damaging to her you know what i'm saying like just positivity and just making sure like day by day you know step by step we're getting back on track and then just uh making making sure we're a priority too you know at the end of the day like we're a unit we're a couple we're a team but it's like we're a priority you know what i'm saying we prioritize us even over this competition prep this that and the third at the end of the day like we are the number one priority so it's like you got to make sure then every other little building block underneath that doesn't override that overarching priority of you guys as a unit and a couple. So yeah. we gotta I, make sure those blocks stay strong underneath. I did, I did want to add that in, is that our relationship is, you know, far more important than, um, you know, a lot of things in life. And so if I feel like there's something going on with our relationship 
that's, you know, being negatively affected because of something that's going on, like, I would want to fix that first, you know? My relationship is here, mm -hmm. <laughs> over here. You guys can't see that. <laughs> but that's, like, one thing is that you learn, you, you have to learn to kind of, like, balance your relationship, making the other person happy, and then at the same time balance what you want to do. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's for anything in life. And so, uh, you know, I'm really grateful to have him. This this video, like, we didn't we didn't set any pinpoints or anything. We just kind of started the camera. Yeah, and we started to talk about it. And yeah. if we missed anything, you know, we're sorry. But this is, this is I guess, what is coming out from our heads at the moment. And, um, yeah, it's very genuine stuff genuine, of how we yeah. feel, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, because you're right. I mean... As long as your relationship, especially if that's like something that's important in your life, like that's what grounds you and that's what keeps you, you know, happy, sane and motivated to do things like then you have to make sure that that stays whole. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, through this whole process, I feel like, would I do it again? I would. It's not like the would not is like, wait, you know, it's not, you know, so I would, the would not is maybe like right here. That's the would not answer in the level that it's at, but that's mainly just based off of the process and depending on what your your motivation is out of doing it. You know, if you're going to compete, what's your end goal? What's what's your mid goal? Like, what's your point? What's the purpose of you doing this? Is it to just do a one and done? Okay, great. Set that goal. If it's to just, you know, you want to make it a lifestyle and that's what you do is go to competitions and compete, that's great too. But uh, just be prepared because, you know, Depending on what your goal is for it, it's uh, you just make sure you have that figured out. So, yeah. for her to do it again, we would I'd like to know, like, okay, so now what's what's our goal now? What's your goal of doing it? Is it to just knock another one out? Is it to win? You know, to figure that out so that I can balance my mind and my expectations out as well, so I know what to look for, you know, in the future. So, yeah. I would do it again, of course, to support her ultimately if that's what she really wants to do. Yeah, as far as our goals, we can share with you guys that in a different video probably down the line but oh, yeah. for now you know we're focusing on just uh kind of getting everything back to normal so uh yeah i don't think we missed anything too much let me let me retract okay no i had a lot to say but i mean i knew i had a lot to say because i was the other side of the whole equation of co you know competition prep so i knew yeah. I wanted anyone that's in my shoes and going through it, you know, what they, you know, what to expect and how to handle certain things, whether it's, like she said, the mood swings or the sexual moods or, you know, dates, how are we managing that and different things like, you know, feel free to ask me, Just, you yeah. know, put a little comment down there with a question, I'll answer it and let you know how I handled it and managed it and what we did. I'll give, you know, of course, my experience on that. But, or if you, I mean, even if you have any other questions about it, just feel free to leave a comment. Um, we can, you know, either respond to that or we can discuss it in another video. But Yeah, I'm definitely open to, the, definitely open to that. Sounds great. Well. I don't think we missed anything. If we did, we might do part <laughs> two. But so far, if you are curious how we're doing, I mean, we're doing great. Yeah. I mean, Argument-wise, like, yeah, there's been a couple, you know, disagreements, but it's still just getting back to, you know, the same page, getting on the same page and the same same frequency and wave of just what we're doing, where we're going, so. Yeah, plus I feel like my hormones are starting to finally balance out a little bit, so <laughs> it's all good. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you, I hope this gave you some insight on, you know, what it was like for us in our relationship to go through a bikini prep and you know our little little bit two and a half week post competition um thing yeah. <laughs> i'm losing my words right now but um yeah so thank you guys so much uh yeah if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and as always yeah thanks make sure you hit that like and subscribe button you know show that support if you like what you see here we appreciate the follows and all that and uh if not if it was your time in and you, you know you're not into it cool appreciate the stop by but you know as always man love yourself love your family love your life just be happy positive baby i mean that's i'd rather live positive than not so mm -hmm. we appreciate it Till next time see ya <laughs> i don't know what that is <laughs>